In 2024, Ukraine has carried out more than 7,000 strikes on the territory of Russia, according to CNN. It is noted that the most distant impact reached more than 1,700 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Long-range drone strikes were aimed at military facilities, such as ammunition depots, as well as infrastructure facilities, such as oil refineries. CNN received exclusive access to one of the Ukrainian units of long-range drones, which is part of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense. Two people from the unit had the right to speak with journalists using only their call signs, Serge, the commander of the long-range unmanned aerial vehicle division, and Vector, the unit commander. Serge said that he personally controlled more than 500 drone strikes on the territory of Russia since its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. CNN representatives spent two days traveling around Ukraine together with the unit, preparing to launch more than 100 drones on the night of September 29 to strike Russia. At that time, one of the targets was a military arsenal in the village of Kotlobin in the Volgograd region of the Russian Federation. Or rather, a train loaded with recently delivered Iranian missiles. When the Ukrainian drones were heading to Kotlobin, Serge told CNN, we constantly make the enemy think about what they did in February 2022. They must understand that we are getting stronger every day and we are getting closer to our victory and their defeat. The first satellite images of the ammunition warehouse in Kotlobani after the strikes of Ukraine then recorded burned areas near the arsenal, but contained little evidence of strong explosions inside, which gave grounds for media assertions that the strike was a miss. CNN was also able to independently confirm, thanks to its own sources, that there was indeed a direct strike on the arsenal in Kotlobani. The CNN article also notes that long-range drone attacks are becoming an increasingly noticeable part of the Russian-Ukrainian war. While the ground war has become more exhausting, the air war is gaining momentum, and the main development is taking place in unmanned aerial vehicles. Despite the Russian air defense, the effectiveness of the attack can increase to 95%, with the permission of the USA to use Western weapons for strikes deep into Russia. Russia poses a direct military threat to Germany. An armed clash is possible by 2030, according to Bruno Kahl, head of Germany's Federal Intelligence Service. The Russian armed forces should be able to strike at NATO by the end of this decade at the latest, Kahl says at a hearing at the Bundestag's Parliamentary Oversight Committee. According to him, the Kremlin views the West and Germany in particular as an enemy. Germany is the second largest supporter of Ukraine. The chances are high that NATO will invoke its mutual defense clause at some point. Karl adds, Putin is seeking to expand the Kremlin's sphere of influence in Europe and push US military forces off the continent as US defense spending exceeds that of the European Union, the intelligence chief says. We are in a confrontation with Russia. 
Carl says adding that Vladimir Putin is not just concerned with Ukraine, but creating a new world order. Carl's assessment is in line with other European officials who see Russia as a more ominous threat after a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius warned this year that Russia could attack the NATO alliance within five to eight years. According to all international military experts, we should assume that Russia will be able to launch a military attack on a NATO state or a neighboring state from 2029, Pistorius says. The EU's candidate for the bloc's first ever defense commissioner, Andreas Kubilius, echoed this prediction, saying the region needs to build up its military forces for a possible confrontation with Russia in six to eight years. After the war in Ukraine broke out, Western countries began to worry that Russia might invade NATO territory. Alliance officials have so far rejected this possibility, saying they do not see such a threat shortly. President Volodymyr Zelensky has previously stated that the Baltic states, Poland or the Balkans could be the next targets of Russian aggression. In addition, NATO has already developed a defense plan in case of a possible Russian attack. At the same time, the military bloc still wants to strengthen its capabilities.